as your legs get even, the ball's nowhere near where it would be for good timing. And this is just pulling your whole body forward. It's pulling you off balance through the step. Hey coach, welcome home. How was Vegas? Thanks, Brooklyn. Vegas was fun. I met a lot of really cool bowlers out there. Took some picks, had some great conversations, and bowled a little bit. I got a couple of friends over there in Vegas. They're in the casino business. I think they said they saw you somewhere. I don't think so. I'm not sure yet, you know, but I, you know, but you know what I want you to do? Who's this guy? Who's this guy? I ain't nobody. Kent, and you're watching the Art of Bowling channel. Hey Team AOB, welcome back to Art of Bowling, your resource for tips, tricks, and techniques to help you bowl your best. If you like our content, do us a favor and hit that like button. It'll really help us out. And subscribe if you want to see more bowling analysis like this one. Speaking of, who's first up in this episode to analyze this? The first bowler we're going to look at today is Jose Schmo. The first thing I notice about Joe is that his hand on release is in a very, very good position. You can see how his fingers are underneath the ball. That's excellent job, Joe. And we're gonna take a look at the side view to show you how he gets there and, and keeps it there. Right here, his elbow is straight. And one step later, you can see that right after his elbow and his arm is parallel to the ground, his elbow kind of bends underneath. And when he comes through, you can see he's creating a fantastic flat spot right there. And that's how he's able to keep his hand underneath the ball. That's a great job, Joe. As far as what Joe needs to work on, Joe's a little bit off balance at the finish. There's a thing we can do to make your balance a little bit better, Jose. When you take your second step because you're a five-step approacher, your ball is way, way out in front of you. When you move the ball, the timing's fantastic but you're just putting it way out in front of you and we want to get that ball just in front of the big toe right here so you want that ball coming down sooner into the approach as your legs get even the ball's nowhere near where it would be for good timing and this is just pulling your whole body forward it's pulling you off balance through the step two other things you can do with to create better balance would be to get your trail leg and that toe curled down on the floor, and also better use of your opposite arm. Um, a lot of people don't use their opposite arm quite correctly. Your arm is kind of going out to the side as you're starting and where it should be in front of you, and it's just there. So you want to get that arm working for you. A second benefit to keeping that arm in front of you and switching the arms as you're going is you're going to engage your right hip a little bit better, and you're going to get a little bit more power into the shot. Thanks for submitting your videos, Jose. Great job on the angles uh, that was panned down the lane. That was perfect. And the back view, his shoulder was right in the middle of the shot. So it was very easy to, to make an analysis of what you were doing. So the next bowler we have from southeastern Iowa is Chuck. And yes, Chuck, I have shucked many oysters from the southeastern shore of Maryland. <laughs> First thing that I've noticed about Chuck is he's got very good balance at the line. And this is due to two things. One, he gets his back foot down on the ground. The balance is there with the back foot. He also uses his opposite arm very well. And um, that's really helping him with his balance. Now uh, you can see how the, the hip is actually engaging in, in, the, in the shot a little bit better because of that opposite arm. His balance is really, really good. One of the things that Chuck has a very short backswing. That is due to his very late start to his push-off. 
You can see his second step, he's holding the ball. He pushes it up a little bit before he goes and he's really not dropping the ball in the swing until his third step, which is actually making that backswing very short. Chuck slides a long, long way and really everything is, is, he's catching everything up so the timing doesn't look too bad at the end, but he really doesn't get the ball into places at the right time. If Chuck was to get that ball into the swing earlier and let the ball swing the arm as a pendulum would, it would fall into place better. He'd get a much longer arm swing, more power to his shot from the longer arm swing and using his arms and legs together instead of having them work kind of against each other. Thanks again, Chuck, for sending your videos. Um, if you send me another video, make sure that the person taking your video is standing at the foul line and panning you up so they're even with you um, as you're releasing the ball. So who wants next? Send us your videos on our Facebook page, Art of Bowling, for your chance to be featured on an episode of Analyze This. And if you're really looking to level up your bowling game, become a Patreon member and unlock unlimited access to virtual one-on-one -on -one coaching with me. Thanks for watching and see you on the lanes.